Hi everyone, and welcome to Gwenthalex. Hello everybody, I am once again in a different location <laughs> in my house. I've been trying out all of the different options recently. I think this is kind of cute. I don't know, it's nighttime while I'm filming this because I was just way too excited to get this figure to wait. So yeah, I have a, an unboxing for you all. This is probably my most anticipated unboxing of all time, like pre-order wise. I am beyond, beyond, beyond excited to unbox this behemoth today. This giant box arrived to me yesterday, and although I really wanted to open it yesterday, I knew I had to film it for all of you, so I waited. And I'm so excited to review the beautiful Good Smile Company Ghost Bride figure. That's what's in this giant box. So we're gonna be unboxing her today. I'm so excited. I'll probably cut while I'm doing the assembly, um, because I have a feeling this is going to be a very involved figure to assemble, but I cannot wait to get my first impressions here with all of you and give you a detailed review of this amazing, amazing figure. But before we get into today's unboxing, I'd like to give a word from our sponsor, Bai. Bai is my go-to proxy when I'm looking for items that I can't find anywhere else. I especially love to use Mercari JP and Yahoo Japan auctions to get hard to find figures and merch. They are just the best for finding stuff. I have a bunch of stuff coming from Bai right now. I knew I had to get my hands on the Snow Miku 2023 or 2024, 2024, the 2024 Snow Miku. And they released an Ichiban Kuji figure in Japan, which you can't buy on like Ami Ami and stuff. So I hopped onto Mercari and found one in the limited pearl variant that I could pick up myself. And I'm so happy I was able to get her because she looks so cute from the pictures I've seen. I cannot wait until she arrives. But yeah, if you're looking for hard to find items from Japan, I would definitely recommend checking out Bai. And if you sign up using the link in the description below, you'll get a 10% off coupon for your first purchase and help support Gwen Collect. Thank you so much to Bayi for sponsoring this video and let's get into this unboxing. Okay, so this box is so big I'm going to cut it open on the ground here and then pull the box out I also couldn't get my address info off like FedEx really stuck that on there. So I didn't want to like show it to all you guys. So I'm gonna leave this on the ground and cut it out that way or cut it open that way. Oh my god. This box is huge Okay, I gotta stand up to get it out of here Okay, Ooh. so here we have it. Let me get the tissue paper off. This is the illustration revelation ghost bride figure by Good Smile Company. Look at how beautiful this box is. It has a bunch of photos of the figure on all the sides. Oh, it's supposed to lay flat like this, I think. So this is the front here, and then all the sides are like super pretty. This box is gorgeous with photos of the figure. I don't know if there's any photos of the artwork on here. There aren't actually, which is kind of interesting to me. And then on the bottom, or I guess back, there's just some other photos of the whole figure. Wow. Oh my god, I can't wait to open it! I'm literally beyond, beyond excited to open this figure. Oh my god. I've never been so excited. Actually, okay, that's a lie. Maybe like Mugen and Joker, I was excited like this, but there's nothing more exciting than just getting these like magnum opus figures, you know, like just the ones that are going to be true centerpieces in my collection that I waited so long to pick up. Oh, there's more. I am just so excited to open her up. I've been itching to do it all day long. I'm so excited. Okay. okay, on the inside of the flap, we have another photo. I don't know if I can maneuver this to show you guys. There's another photo of the figure. And then opening it up, we have the figure, the instructions, and then like the parasol and some pieces. Ooh, the instructions are colored. Okay, let me pull out the figure and then I'm gonna stop the camera, put it all together and then come back and give you my thoughts. It's gonna take a lot more than just some scissors to open this up. So I'm gonna open her up. I can see her face and it looks absolutely stunning from here. I'm gonna open it up, put it together and then I'll be back to give you guys my full review of this figure. So I'll be back in one second. Okay, so here I am putting the figure together and also trying to keep my new kitty who has not been shown on the channel yet. Keep an eye out for next week's video if you want to meet him there. 
Um, but I thought I would put kind of a, a quick time lapse of me putting this figure together because I know a lot of people are probably curious at how involved it was. So you can see it was mainly just attaching the branches. They all kind of loop underneath the, the fabrics in different ways. So trying to figure out from the instructions what was going under what was probably the hardest part. But once you figured that out, it really wasn't too bad. The fabric thing pieces were very like bendy, so it wasn't too bad putting them over the branches and like through in between. Um, trying to figure out where their little pegs went though was really hard. There's one on the back of her skirt that I'm trying to find here in this clip <laughs> to stick the green one. And it was very, very hard to find because you can't really like see behind the skirt. So you just kind of have to guess. But you see, I eventually found it there. Um, so that was probably the hardest part. This top branch was a bit easier, but you'll see in this part, I actually put it together wrong. And there's like a big blue piece that's just sticking up. Um, I do fix that later in the video. You see that blue piece sticking out the back? Yeah, um, whoops. So I do fix that later in the video. It, I just didn't notice it at this point because <laughs> there was a lot going on, but oh my God, it's so obvious watching the clips back that that piece is sticking up. It does have this one stand. It's got like a metal rod and then these two like plastic parts you're supposed to position. It was a little bit tricky. Um, and I don't know if you guys noticed Mugen pull it off the uh, the table earlier. <laughs> but I found if you take the, the pieces off, slide it between the branches and then put the plastic pieces back on, it works better. So that's what I did there. Um, but after that, it was pretty much all put together. Okay guys, I was gonna sit back on my chair over there and talk about this figure. And then I realized that like, there's no way I can like hold this. Uh, so here she is. I did do a little montage of me putting her together. She was quite involved to put together. Probably took me about 20 minutes to do it. But uh, she's done. She's together. Here is the ghost bride. She looks absolutely stunning. Oh my god, the lighting is so bad right now. Anyway, oh my god, she is so beautiful. While she was pretty tricky to put together, she wasn't that hard. I was expecting it to be worse, honestly. I haven't really even gotten a good look at her since I put her together. But oh my God, she is stunning. They really captured like the motion in the figure. I feel with this one, like she, there's just so much, like the, all of the, the ribbons floating through the air. It really looks like they're being swept off by the wind. And I feel like this whole thing, oh, I think I messed up one thing. But yeah, you can kind of manipulate them into place and switch around where all of the like branches and stuff are, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, so th these are very bendy, um, which helped with putting it together a lot. Um, otherwise, I think it would have been even more difficult to put together. But oh my God, this is a stunning figure. Every detail is just so beautifully crafted. Like all of the ribbons have such intricate detail transferred onto them. And obviously Ghost Bride herself is beautiful. The shading on her dress is especially nice. The pinks and the purples on the white. It doesn't look flat at all. The use of texture is also stunning. Her hair has this really nice like purple gradient and she does have this removable kind of clear hood. The gradient on her hair is gorgeous. Honestly, her face is very sweet. Um, I do wish she had a metal pole for her parasol. It is plastic, which is kind of annoying, but should be fine. It kind of rests on the tree behind it. So my hope is that it won't droop over time. But yeah, I love the use of the semi-translucent overlay over her dress. I think it's beautiful and the way it like drapes along the back is super cool. I love how they made like the clear water area and then the like grass underneath her because she's like sitting on a bridge even though it's quite hard to see the bridge underneath. All of the lanterns look amazing. I love how everything drapes over on this figure. It's just really, really, really well done. Um, every aspect of this figure is stunning. I could not be more happy with her. She did retail for 66,000 yen, 68,000 with shipping from Good Smile International, which is pretty crazy. She was very expensive. Uh, but with the current exchange rate, I think when I pre-ordered her, she was about 800 Canadian I was expecting to pay. And now with the current exchange rate, I only paid 640. So I would say that's a win right there. Yeah, she is just so breathtakingly beautiful. Um, definitely worth the high, high price tag, I think. This is like a sculpture. This is a work of art. It's absolutely massive and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I would pay, I'd pay good money for her again. Just an absolutely beautiful, 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 beautiful figure. And I am so happy that she's in my collection. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like 
uh, a comment or even subscribing. Uh, and if you would like to further support Gwen Collects, you can subscribe to my Patreon at patreon.com slash Gwen Collects for at least one bonus video every month. Huge thank you to all of my patrons over on Patreon and an even bigger thank you to all of my Chica tier patrons. Noble, Castle, Ryomi, Remember June, Melindy Lou, Leon Blade, Retro Richie, and Chance. Thank you all so much for your support. As always, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!